as you know today now i'm going to discuss about uh, one important disease condition related to the respiratory systems of medical surgical nursing subject that is a bronchitis so first uh, definitions of the bronchitis bronchitis is the an inflammation so, of uh, mucous uh, membranes otherwise uh, bronchioles of lining in that uh, uh, having the one inflammation uh, uh, around the bronchioles uh, especially and inflammations of the bronchioles uh, can cause uh, as uh, like that uh, inflammations and excessive secretions around the bronchioles so th that is the bronchitis also in that only just uh, inflammation of the around the lining of the bronchioles so next uh, what are the uh, many types of bronchioles mainly two types that is the acute and chronic hope you understand about the acute and chronic acute that is the recovery period a short period only then chronic that is a long period so in that acute bronchitis one have the acute bronchitis within a patient cover easily within few days seven days to ten days easily and it also uh, that is the some substance response substance response for the acute bronchitis that is the cigarette smoking sir air pollution uh, dust so it is easily can cover by the only 10 days so next is the chronic bronchitis chronic bronchitis is the uh, continuation uh, condition and serious condition when inflammation around the bronchioles uh, inflamed inflamed properly and having the more secretion uh, for this uh, chronic bronchitis recovering period is the uh, like that uh, minimum 3 months to the 2 years so mainly two types uh, acute and chronic so these difference next what are the etiology and causes of bronchitis? So there are mainly more important on the basis of the viral and bacterial. So this is only just a few uh, flu seasons only and cold times also suffering with the bronchitis. There are so many patients, but these only considered for as acute bronchitis. When patients have the chronic bronchitis due to the some viral infections like that group A and H1 group and streptococcus also so that time patients also having the as uh, some like that uh, ethro and uh, streptococcus uh, group a and b bacteria also so in that uh, my uh, mycoplasma pneumonia also that is called uh, as a uh, walking pneumonia that time some other substance of the and cause uh, because uh, that time patients uh, having the one uh, continuation to the job in the other uh, industrial area otherwise that time having the touch with the killing chemical substance otherwise uh, cigarette smoking also so these are the basic causes uh, for uh, bronchitis uh, viral and bacterial also so in that uh, uh, next what are the risk factors of the bronchitis uh, mainly age also can considered but that time do the duty in the industrial area means like that chemical uh, agents when touch other way when inhale the other gases like that chemical related so that time also chances for the as a bronchitis next having the low resistance also then uh, gastric reflexes can cause uh, as a risk factors of the bronchitis so these are the risk factors next what are the pathophysiology of the bronchitis Due to the etiological factor like that bacteria and virals, other causes, whatever, so that microorganism enter the your body through the uh, like that airway. So that time reach the like that upper respiratory tract. So when reach the uh, microorganism in the upper respiratory tract, having the one inflammation surround that uh, bronchioles only. So in that uh, having the more secretion and coughing also though when having the secretion and inflamed narrowing the breathing valve otherwise uh, breathing tubes uh, when the narrowing is having the poor ventilation so due to the poor ventilations uh, having the one uh, uh, automatic coughing occurs uh, for the secretion uh, remove the secretion and clear the secretions also so that time patients uh, having the emphysema, emphysema and bronchiectitis that is condition convert to the bronchitis so these are the pathophysiology of the bronchitis what are the signs and symptoms means clinical manifestation of the bronchitis first uh, sore thoughts uh, otherwise uh, fever uh, chills uh, so uh, dyspnea also can occur uh, then that time patient suffering with the chronic bronchitis having the wheezing sounds also so others uh, some uh, uh, vomiting nausea diarrhea also can occur uh, then dyspnea shortness of the breath also can uh, so these are the basic uh, symptoms can identify as the this is the clinical manifestation next what are the diagnosis evaluation for the bronchitis so that time 
पेशेंट कम अंडर द ब्रोंकाइटिस कंडीशन शो कैन प्रॉपर डू द हिस्ट्री कलेक्शन हिस्ट्री कलेक्शन एंड फिजिकल मेशन इन द स्पेशली ऑन द सिस्टमेटिक एग्जामिनेशन रिस्पेक्टिव टाइट एग्जामिनेशन प्रॉपर्ली सो कैन आइडेंटिफाई द प्रॉपर ऑर्डर द दिस इज देन आफ्टर दैट एचएस टेक्स रे देन ब्लड इन्वेस्टिगेशन आल्सो फॉर बिकॉज़ दैट टाइम टू द प्रॉपर ब्लड इन्वेस्टिगेशन आइडेंटिफाई द बैक्टीरियल और वायरल व्हिच टाइप्स ऑफ द ब्रोंकाइटिस देन ब्रोंकोस्कोपी आल्सो देन इन दैट दैट टाइम पेशेंट सफरिंग विद द क्रोनिक ब्रोंकाइटिस कैन डायग्नोस द पीएफट परमोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट फॉर देयर अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपर्ली देन आफ्टर दैट एबीजी एनालिसिस आर्टेरियल ब्लड गैसेस आल्सो सो दीस आर द डायग्नोसिस क्राइटेरिया Uh, after diagnosis criteria uh, what are the management as a medical management first so uh, as a symptomatic basic symptoms like that fever chills uh, sore throats uh, can give the acetaminophen otherwise aspirin tablets uh, for relieve that uh, muscles uh, pain otherwise uh, some fevers uh, like that reduce the fever then can after that uh, if patients are having the bacterial and viral uh, infections uh, due to the cause of the bronchitis that's one so for that uh, need to administer the erythromycin uh, otherwise uh, amoxicillin properly then other uh, some erythromycin tablets can give some uh, bronchodilator also can give that time patient and corticosteroids like that uh, brofen also can give so these are the basic management but some other medications uh, that time patients suffering with the acute and chronic uh, uh, bronchitis that time give the like that uh, tetracyclines uh, cephalosporin uh, sulfonamides uh, and uh, these others uh, in these groups also some antibiotics is there so next uh, nursing management so nursing management uh, ongoing first assessment proper assess the air patency also of the patients uh, proper breathing patterns uh, respiratory tract infection also assess properly then after that assess the as a uh, sputum productivity that in muscles the sputum productivity can know easily what are the amount how many amounts uh, colors uh, order 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 uh, others what are things uh, need to assess properly then uh, patient uh, also assess the level of knowledge about that disease condition so uh, there are so many other assessment according to patient symptom that the patient has in different breathing difficulty so on the basis kind of proper formulate the nursing diagnosis so first nursing diagnosis like that in ineffective airway clearance related to the excessive mucus secretion otherwise bronchoconstriction also next uh, ineffective uh, breathing difficulties breathing patterns related to the dyspnea otherwise uh, mucus secretions also then impaired uh, gas exchange uh, that that time having the poor uh, ventilations otherwise uh, ventilation to uh, perfusion uh, inequality also so and the poor uh, having that time having the knowledge deficit also on diagnosis on and knowledge deficit related to the disease uh, conditions otherwise uh, treatment regimens uh, and uh, uh, also having the tol intolerance uh, capacity also can understand properly so tolerance activity also related to the like that uh, upon daily activity otherwise uh, due to the disease condition so these are the nursing diagnosis on the basis as plan plan for the as a like that what are the management as a intervention proper uh, vital signs monitoring of the patients uh, proper assessment uh, and do that thing assess the respiratory system need to know properly use the accessory muscles or not so after that uh, if patients are suffering with the breathing difficulties uh, uh, provide the oxygen therapies uh, proper uh, that thing having the mucus secretion need to proper sustaining also then on the basis of the prescribe the what are the medication need to administer on time then uh, proper assessment then when needs uh, like that uh, excessive uh, bronco uh, secretions uh, that time uh, proper to the nebulizations also so these are the basic management so today i was uh, discussed uh, again summarize one time so about the bronchitis first uh, definitions uh, in the definitions uh, this is the one inflammation of the lining of the bronchioles so after that what are the causes uh, bacteria and viral causes causes also for this one and uh, mainly two types acute and chronic after that uh, what are the symptoms uh, that time patient suffering for chronic bronchitis having the as wheezing sounds especially so uh, these are the discussion little and uh, after that uh, management i was discuss about that uh, medication medical management acetaminophen uh, strep otherwise uh, erythromycin uh, some other medication can give like penicillin uh, otherwise uh, like that uh, tetracycline sulfonamides uh, so these are the medication can hope you are understand thank you